Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, tis time for a Hell in the Cell preview and pre <laughs> predictions. Huh? That's right, motherfuckers. Two and one. I'm gonna do this quick. There, not feeling that well today. Fucking sick of being fucking sick, people. Oh, son of a fucking bitch. Okay, Nikki Bella versus Brie Bella. Um, I think the match quality ain't gonna be that great there because they're not really good wrestlers, but uh, you know, this could go either way. Brie Bella could win and. We could have some funny moments of Nikki Bella being her slave or whatever. Um, I think Nikki is going to win. Then she's going to mistreat Brie. And eventually uh, Brie is going to break free or whatever there. So I'm going to go with Nikki Bella in this one. Um, I think The Miz is going to defeat Sheamus. Match quality, eh, um, should be pretty close to what we see on TV there. Probably Ms. Dow will have something to do with it. Eventually, uh, Ms. Dow and the Miz are going to split up. Um, I'm going to go with Ms. here. Um, AJ, I think she's going to defeat Paige. Uh, should be a decent little match or whatever. Um, I don't think they should keep switching the belt between one and the other. Just let AJ have a match so we can move the fuck on from this shit. Huh? Come on, motherfuckers. Um, I think Rusev is going to defeat Big Show. And I'm expecting a good match. We had a good match on Raw. And it was a good match despite the cheap DQ finish. So uh, I'm expecting a good match here with Rusev winning. Goal and Stardust against the Usos. Um, I'm pretty sure Gold, Gold and Stardust will win. On one hand, we've seen this match a thousand times, <laughs> you know. Um, but it should be a, a, a good enough tag team match there. And here, speaking of a match we've seen a thousand times, Randy Orton is going to defeat John Cena, I hope. Fuck. Um, this time I'm not pissed off that they're fighting again. There, no point. And uh, wrestlers having a rematch. Fuck. You know, I'm done with that type of horse shit there but uh, I think Orton is gonna win hopefully so we can have Orton and Brock which would be a fresh match nothing wrong with having new and fresh shit sometimes you know and uh, I think this match should be good enough you know it's not the attitude era dogs but should be good enough and in the main event, hopefully this is going to be in the main, the main event fucking slot there. Um, Dean Ambrose, I hope, is going to defeat Seth Rollins. Should be a good match. Um, if Rollins wins, then this is going to have to keep going. Uh, might <laughs> keep going, I don't know. But I'd like if Ambrose would win and they could move on and separate these two guys so we can have two good matches per show instead of lumping everything together um i think it's going to be a good pay-per-view it might not be the best there people are already hating on the show before it happens because this ain't the attitude era and the hell in the cell ain't good on my car one thing's for sure it's going to be better than Bound for Glory time. <laughs> Bound for Glory time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to watch this pay-per-view with an open mind. going to go into it with, you know, positivity. That way, if it turns out to be good, I don't have to act like you guys and, you know, find reasons to say it's bad because you said in advance that it was going to be bad. For example, I said Bound for Glory is going to be bad. 
turned out to be bad. That was so much bad. But you guys are going to say hell in the cell will suck and it big chance it'll turn out to be a good show. Then you're going to have to find stupid reasons. The referee's shirt was wrinkled. The shit sucks. It's not the Hogan era. It just fucking sucks. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this pay-per-view. It's got me excited, dog. I'm excited. All righty, till next time, peace.